Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Monday the 30th of November. We are of course in the season of the church's year known as Advent and we begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we remember during this season of Advent that though your people longed for your coming, many were not prepared to welcome you. Failing to recognise you when you came, Forgive us, as we are sometimes equally closed to your coming into our lives, forcing you into a mould that we have made for you, presuming that your thoughts and your ways are the same as ours. Forgive us that our expectations are small and limited, shaped by looking at life from a human rather than eternal perspective. Forgive us and help us to be prepared Teach us to examine ourselves, our words and our deeds, our thoughts and our attitudes, and so to live each day open to what you might do in and through us during this season of Advent and always to the glory of your name. Amen. John chapter 1 The next day John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning round, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which when translated is Peter. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. 
of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At His sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. God is my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we need your love. We need your mercy. We need your guidance and we need your peace. For without you, our souls are restless, our lives are impoverished and our destiny is hopeless. But we thank you too that, incredibly, you are a God who has need of us, a God who has chosen to make yourself dependent on human cooperation. You need our faith and our trust you need our hands and our feet. You need our willingness to speak in service and in witness. You need our commitment to you in body, in mind and in soul. Living God, we marvel that you need us as much as we need you. But we thank you for that great truth, that awesome privilege and that amazing responsibility. Help us to honour the trust that you have placed in us through honouring Jesus Christ our Lord. For it is in his name we offer ourselves and our prayer. Amen.